just wanted to make a little quick video here on uh, DD1 versus an oscilloscope again just to show a pretty interesting issue. They were doing a car and the distortion detector DD1 was showing distortion all the time at any level. So we grabbed the scope to see if we could see anything and it looked perfectly clean to us. I'm gonna and we actually recorded this track or we recorded the the audio from the car and we captured it so that we could bring it into the lab and see see what was going on. So uh, let me play it here. This is what we saw on the scope. And it looks pretty much perfect. Uh, the DD1 looks like this. So, kind of wondering what's going on here. So we then took this track, put it on a CD, and tested it through a CD player and through an audio precision, and it measured like 1.8% THD. So this is, you know, just proof right here that you can't see distortion unless you're a stinking robot and this can. And it's also proof that this does not measure clipping. DD1 looks for distortion and it can see it in here even though we can't. Thus why we need to have tools like the DD1s. So on this track that has the, the distortion in it that we're unable to see here. It's so it's actually so much distortion that we can turn the signal down and you can actually get the DD1 in this condition where there right there it's showing distortion before anything before it even sees signal. This is so small but it it's reading it as distortion. We turn it up a little bit higher we'll see the signal light come on cuz now it's slightly bigger and if we keep going now it's detecting it at one kilohertz because it, it's enough to actually really see what it is, but still distortion light the entire time. I mean, I can see it in here a little bit, but I've been looking at these waveforms for like 12 years. And even, even with that, if I didn't know what this was, I probably wouldn't be seeing it. So, there you go.